for you. Thanks. This is the third time Jim Belushi has teamed up with a dog on the canine series. The popularity of the first two films created a loyal following of fans eager to sink their teeth into a new story. Canine P.I. What? Oh. Come on. Oh. The first time Jim Belushi and the dog worked together was back in 1988. The idea? Team up a rough around the edges cop. Well, we're going to be spending some time together. I got to deodorize your mangy little ass. With man's best friend. You smell good, but not like cedar chips. The picture was an instant favorite for action lovers. <laughs> but the film almost never happened. My agent pitched me this story, and I said, I'm not working with a damn dog. Get your nose out my ass. And he begged me to do this movie. You know, I made a choice. You know, it was probably the best decision that agent ever made for me. No, 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 it's not yours. I'll give you some kibble out of it, all right? <laughs> I found a new passion in my life, and that is dogs. Ooh, 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 ooh. Come on! What do you mean? The popularity of the film convinced the studio a sequel was needed. K911. What's with you? We almost had that guy. Once again, Dooley and the dog were back ready to mark out their comedy territory. Uh, I think most actors don't look at dogs as a character. I look at them as my comedy partner, the team. No, thank you. It's me and him. No, I don't think he, he doesn't like her. For many actors, sharing the screen with a canine in the doggy dog world of film you got bad, bad gums. would be simply too much. But Jim Belushi knew why the films worked yeah, in the past. Sure. He made sure that everyone else knew that this was not your basic dog show. This is a buddy film, me and the dog. And uh, every director that we get, you know, that's the one thing I stress to. Now listen. And Jim said to me, you know, early in the process, he said, I want you to remember this. It's about the dog. Give me that. Oh Stay good. And we need to capture the dog in a way that's going to be magical. This is the comedy team. You don't want to split the comedy team up. I know this is killing you, Jer. <laughs> you want them in the same shot. You're going to thank me in the morning. <laughs> it's about the relationship between the man and the dog and the obstacles they run into and how they overcome them. For Barbara Tyson, sharing the screen with a dog and a team of trainers <laughs> would not be simple. The first day we started shooting with the dogs, and I thought it would be, you know, the dog would come and sit and do what they had to do. But it was interesting because the dog handlers have their way of training the dogs, and so you'll be doing a scene and you'll hear, sit, hold it up, put your paw down. Stay back, speak, 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 back, speak, speak, back, speak. And it, it's a little bit jarring. Chip thing happens, stay on the dog. Action. Everyone who worked on Canine P.I. knew living up to the stunts and the stories of the first two movies wouldn't be easy. You did it! Much of the burden would fall to dog trainer Carl Miller. What a dog. Stay. He's worked on creating canine from day one. Make a bow. Up. Sit. The dog thinks he's coming to play every day. And our motto is, we go to work, they go to play. And we have to keep it that way and comfortable for them so that they come back tomorrow to play some more. Good. Miller and his daughter Teresa are considered pioneers in the art of putting animals and actors together. Not a simple job, one that requires patience from everyone on the set from the director on down. Just to call him out of the shot. In this case, King, our lead dog, he is not an actor. And he doesn't know he's acting. However, I become a second-hand director. The director tells me what he expects from the dog, and somehow my emotional cues to the dog has to get that personality of the dog out of that scene. Cut, print, that's it. 
I've worked with three different dogs in three different movies, and uh, they're, they're like working with three different actors. Absolutely. You know, I wish you could hear me right now because there's a couple of things I wanted to tell uh, you. Rondo was uh, the first you know, dog, and he wasn't really a well-trained movie dog. Even though you took the mirror off my Mustang, you know. The Carl had just gotten him and kind of did a quick training on him. So it was difficult to get Rondo to do the things we wanted him to do. Because I know I shouldn't have yelled at you. Uh, Mac, in the second movie, uh, was a very well-trained dog. What are you doing on my spot? Uh... But we chose to play the dog as being older. So we didn't get a lot of energy out of Mac. That'll make you feel better. And this one, this is the best dog we've had yet. King. King, like many on this set, actually has quite a bit of history with the canine series. Put it. Good. In the last movie, King was one of the understudies who turned out to be quite the stunt dog because he had a lot of energy at that time and so we used him for a lot of A to B shots. Fast running, jumping, and what have you. Good boy. They really like the challenge. They like saying, no, I can't do it, and figuring out a way to do it. Like last night, we, we went back and forth up and down this hall. The dog was supposed to put his nose in my butt and uh, we couldn't get King to do it for the world. We tried everything. We put some, I think they put some um, food down there. <laughs> but you know what? After 30 minutes, we figured out a way to do it. It's a monofilament and a tennis ball, and the dog went through his legs to chase the tennis ball. And Carl came up with it, and we did it, and the dog did it. So it's, what's exciting about this job is, is the challenges and overcoming them. Despite the challenges, though, it doesn't hurt that Belushi's background is in improv. Well, you're talking about two people that are unpredictable. You're talking about a dog and Jim. The great thing about working with an animal is that you don't know what they're going to do. I, I don't know. I mean, you rehearse it, but when the camera's rolling... There he goes. Bye -bye. Uh, they're a dog. You know, it's an animal. See where the other one might be. Uh, they don't know what you're talking about. Look at this one. So you have to kind of improvise along with them. And sometimes it makes for the possibility of magic. That's what makes we'll his clock tick. <laughs> and that's what makes him ultimately a very funny man and a very refreshing kind of presence on the screen. Yeah, you can smell your own, can't you? <laughs> What's interesting about a relationship with a dog is not what the dog does. It's trying to communicate to the dog what you need. Let me hear your beat, will you? And uh, a lot of the improvising that goes on with the dog is trying to get him to do the stunt. Come on, I said I split up with you. Here, here, take the whole goddamn thing. There's one scene in particular in K-9-1, uh, the original K-9, where I'm on the couch about to kiss the girl, and Rondo, the dog who played Jerry Lee, for some reason took his paw and put it on my head. I was just praying when my head was down that the boom wasn't in the shot, that nobody would laugh, and nobody would make a noise, because we could never train a dog to do that. And we got that in one take. You remember the movie Old Yeller, do you? Remember when they shot him at the end? I didn't cry. Oh. Jim's so good with, with the banter with the dog. What are you doing up there? That's it. We're definitely going to the vet. You can really tell that he's a dog person. Come on. Come on, let's go. Jim, uh, he's one of the few actors I've noticed actually make eye contact with the dog and communicate with him while he's working. You want to stay here tonight? You stay there tonight. Uh, and as a result, the dog feels this and responds to him. And uh, uh, it's amazing on film how it looks like Jerry Lee belongs you know, to Dooley. I got you for free, Jerry Lee. Did you hear that? Pension check is waiting, we got our money, we're retired, we're going on a trip, buddy. For Jim Belushi, leaving the set and completing the movie will not mean leaving dogs behind. Who's that? Who's that? Last year, he and his family got two German Shepherd puppies. Perhaps with a little training and a little patience. Easy. Leave it, leave it. Okay. They too might be future co-stars. Good boy, Cheers. Look at that look.